YouTube, welcome back. This is the Allegheny Northern in N scale, and today we are talking about signals. And the signal you are seeing in front of you here was sent to me by ProTech, and this is a LED searchlight signal. It is a uh, green aspect. And for those of you who have been following the channel, you know that in several of my videos, I have made mention that I am looking into signaling the railroad. And obviously that's a fairly large undertaking now because the railroad has grown in size and in complexity. So there's a lot of things to consider. And so before I even began researching the signals that are available in uh, scale, I actually started looking at how the real ones operate. And some of the stuff I knew, some of the stuff I didn't know, it has been a uh, quite an experience getting all of the information together and then learning about how the signals um, interlock, even from simple switch alignment to occupancy of various blocks and central traffic control, so on and so forth. You can really go down a rabbit hole and because each railroad has some differences in how they operate their signals and different signal styles, uh, there's a, a lot to be there's a lot to be learned here. So today uh, we are going to focus on the end product and what i mean by the end product is the part that all of the visitors and operators to your railroad are going to see and that is the signal so uh we're going to save the brains for the signal for another video today we're strictly looking at protect signal and uh, once again thanks to the, uh, charlie with protect for sending this along for review and the first thing i want to do is show you the case that it comes in and, and how it's packaged and then we'll go on to some of the finer details. Okay, so when you order your signals from ProTech, you are gonna get them in a beautiful case, just like this. And it's gonna make sure that your signal arrives just as it's supposed to. So it's properly fixed to the, um, the backing here, so it's not gonna move around, it's not gonna, I mean, they, they literally would have to drive the delivery truck over this thing to, to, to damage, so that, that's awesome. Second, you've got um, all of the wiring. I think you can see it here. We'll take it out in a moment, but all the wiring for this is already attached. So your resistors are already on there. You are set and ready to go. Um, be careful, some other signal uh, manufacturers don't attach their resistors and you need to know that and you need to know what the resistor uh, needs to be so that you do not blow out your LED or if you've got an old school bulb um you definitely want to make sure you're not putting too much voltage through there so let's go ahead and take this thing out of the case and look at the detail on the signal itself okay so we went and took the signal out of the packaging so you can see where the little dab of hot glue there was it was holding it in place and one thing that you will notice is there is no damage where the signal came off and part of that is for me the selling point of these signals in that they're they are not brass so you don't have the brass tube um, where either the the signal post or the ladder so these things are going to be a little more robust than say some older signals that i have here it i don't know if you can see that but see we're at the bottom there you can see brass that's because the brass uh was was uncovered i removed some scenery there they've gotten way carried away and you know that's you're not, you're going to be very gentle. These are a finished product. So these are going to be some of the last things that you are going to put on a layout. But at the same time, you got to be, you got to be careful with them because if you scratch them, they, you're going to see the scratch and then you got to paint it and then you're going to see the paint. And before you know it, you're painting the whole signal, then it doesn't look right. It's just, you know, it, it's better this way because you've got it all as one solid color all the way through. So if you get a little scratch, a little dent, it's not like there's going to be this paint that's flaking off. It's going to cause you. That's going to cause you grief. So let's take a look here. We've got a nice etched. Uh, I'm going to see if I can zoom in and get you a nice clear picture of that nice etched platform right there. That's your signal maintainer's platform, and of course he's got a ladder that he can use to get up there, uh, and it's all nice and in scale. You know, here's the thing that uh, a lot of us I, I lose track of sometimes. So. They're coming out now with models that are, you know, true scale this and true scale that. And let's make our rails as small as possible and our wheels so small that the flanges barely hold on and, and all that stuff. And then we forget all of our scenery detail and we have these clunky signals. We have these clunky traffic lights and it's like, oh my God, what do you got? You're, you're losing track of it. But, you know, looking right here, we're, we're coming back in. We're bringing that true scale size 
to our signals and that just enhances your realism so if you are somebody who's looking for you know a true scale size this is this is the direction you want to head and then of course you've got the 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 uh the aspect up front here you've got the lens cover um, that's going to shield it from um, ambient light and you're going to have that on all signals and it's just it's got that perfect old school signal shape that you know all of us look for and uh, we're going to go ahead and actually light this thing up for you so that you can see what it looks like when it's when it's on your layout. Now, I have the wires taped down so that the signal would stay straight, uh, but the, the wires come out of the bottom just like every other signal would, and that allows you to drill it straight down through your layout surface down uh, to, to your connecting points. Now, I'm tracing the wire here, and not that I really want you to necessarily, you all know what wire looks like, but there's your resistor. Um, nice solder joint on the end here. So it is, you know, the resistor's lead was, was folded back, so it's got a nice solder pad. Um, and, and why I say that that's nice is because these wires, and, and for anyone who has done lighting on their layout or, or signaling, you know how fine these wires are. They are very delicate. They are very, 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 very fine. Um, and they have to be because they need, they need to be able to hide. So you got to be very careful with these when you're working with them. Don't let this... Uh, resistor get snagged on anything and make sure you drill your hole uh, large enough that you can get the uh, the resistor through um, your layout don't worry the base on your signal is going to cover it so you won't see it okay let's go ahead and take this thing over to the layout and uh, i guess the pun here is intended but let's show you how this sig signal shines yeah say that five times fast okay over here on the layout and we have our signal installed now, one thing that I want you to take a real good look at here is the fact that you do not see any bleed on our LED. And what I mean by bleed is you don't see any of the signal light coming from anywhere you would not normally see the signal light coming from, which is the front of the signal. And there we go with our signal on showing green. And that aspect indicates that our train is ready to proceed. So for me, that realism right there is, is what I'm looking for. So I've got a good looking signal, no matter which way you're looking at it, but from the front, which is where you're going to see the actual signal, it has a realistic brightness to it. So it's not overpowering, it's not too dull. And if you are imagining yourself in the cab of a locomotive, that's pretty much what you're gonna see as you come up on our searchlight signal. Now, how you control this signal is really up to you. There are multiple ways to control this signal. And the nice thing is, is this signal will work with whatever system you have. So whether you're working on infrared, whether you're working on, um, you know, with a DCC system that is, you know, controlling the signals based on switch position, it doesn't matter. This signal is going to work with whatever system you have. In fact, if you put it on a standard DC, I know we always talk about DCC and that's because that's what I run, but if you put it on a standard DC signal, you can actually hook this right up to your track power and it will provide the aspect uh, based on what way your train is running. So uh, going forward, let's say towards the signal, it will approach on green. If your train is running backwards, so it'll be coming from the back side of the signal, it'll be off, which will be a, a stop and approach act, uh, aspect. So you really have a lot of options for control. And, you know, to me, this adds a level of realism to a layout that if you don't have signaling, even in some simple sense, I feel like it doesn't give your railroad um, a sense of operation. But when you start seeing signals pop up, it does the same for your railroad that your building lighting does for your, your buildings and your town scenes. It gives it a sense of, of life. So this is an awesome signal. Uh, I'm going to put the URL for the website for ProTech. Give Charlie a call if you like what you see. He's got other products on there that may also interest you, including um, some other signals in his line of signal products. Check them out. 
definitely worth a worth a look uh, i know that for me this is the perfect signal for protection protecting this particular crossing so i will be making a purchase of a few more to to complete this in in my control system check it out url to follow and let's see this thing in operation okay our locomotive is in idle at the moment as our crew goes through its pre-work list and as we look down the track we can see that our signal it has a green aspect indicating that we are free to move into the industry and switch out graphics ink in this case our single head searchlight signal is protecting the crossing from an adjacent track which leads to the engine terminal behind the camera in this instance the signal is either on which is green indicating clear track or it's off indicating stop and proceed so right now we have a green aspect meaning that we are clear to move into the industry without fear of any kind of cross traffic if that signal was to be off the crew would pull up to the signal stop verify that nothing is coming and then proceed across the track this will happen each time the train crosses over the crossing that signal is connected to a switch or a turnout off camera when that turnout is lined for the cross track that signal will automatically become dark indicating that there is a potential for cross traffic that may interfere with the interchange because speed in this area is limited to no more than 10 miles per hour the signal does not need to be a three aspect signal that would indicate clear or occupied because all sides of the crossing are visible with enough time for crews in both directions to react choosing the less expensive option the railroad went with a single head signal in real life this signal would be protected on all four sides by a similar signal now that our pre-check is complete we are ready to begin moving forward You'll note that as our crew passes the signal, the signal remains green. And that is because the turnout linked to the signal is still lined for the main route, which is not the cross traffic. Having grabbed the cars, we make our way to our next industry. Okay, in this case, our locomotive pulled up to the track uh, signal and the aspect went from green to dark and so they radioed ahead to find out um, if the track would be clear and the dispatcher has advised them that there may be oncoming traffic and that they are to proceed with caution so uh, in this case we are going to do exactly that and we are going to stop and proceed before performing our switching operations Folks, hope you enjoyed this review of the ProTech single head uh, searchlight signal. Like I said, go ahead and give their website a shot. See that there are some other options out there for you. Um, and if you are thinking about adding signaling, whether complicated or not complicated to your layout, 
definitely go ahead and give these guys a try. They look fantastic on the layout, and their operation is such that no matter what you are trying to do, this signal is going to match your needs.